Hello everyone, welcome to our Let's Play series of Atom RPG. This is Colonel RPG as usual, and I'm very happy that it shows to join me today. We're almost leveling up. Almost leveling up. What? Are, level 6, okay. Well, we're leaving the circus, uh, because we have done everything over here. We have talked to everyone, we've killed the rat, including the big one. And I did, that didn't actually take too long. I mean, it, it did take a little bit, but it wasn't the worst thing. Uh, and we are going... Two places. I'm, uh, I, was I, where was I going? Was I going to the Drunken Lair, or am I just gonna explore? I think I'm gonna explore, right? I mean, I wanna see what that is. Actually, that does mean that I could go back through there. So, does that tree disappear when I zoom out? No, it does not. Okay. So, let's go over here first. Mm, that's kind of a shame, because I can't... Okay, there it is. Free move? No, not free movement. Free movement! Yeah! That it doesn't matter, but still. Let's go to the Drunken Lair. Because, uh, actually, wait. Can you stop? Thank you. We need to camp before we die. Because we're sort of hungry, very, very badly injured. And we need to take care of that. So, let's... Uh, nope, that... Ooh. Oh, the, right, the corn. Uh, cook! Yeah! Four! That's not great. My food situation, yeah, it's not great. Also, he is, fidel oh, I need to click like this. He's almost dead. He's going to be almost dead for a little while because uh, I need to heal him with items. I could do it like this, I think. Let's see. Uh, discuss tactics. Uh, how are you feeling? Cast power, yeah, it's with pills and I, I'd rather not. Uh, I can do, oh, first aid kit. Right, right, right. We have first aid kits. Uh, but no, I'm not going to do that, because uh, he, honestly, I need to get him a, a weapon. He is not very useful. The only reason I actually m managed to uh, to beat the rats was because he got stuck behind a tree. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, that was that was good. Uh, Drunken Lair, next stop of Devi Cristo. That's where we're going. That's why we're going there. Uh, also, I'm trying to find the proper... Uh, I don't remember the name of, of the place. That other town that they keep talking about. Specifically in Krasnos and Ameni, they keep talking about it. And uh, I don't remember. Hmm. I was wondering if I'm seeing more things now than I was before. Maybe because it's daytime. Yeah, I don't remember the name of the town, but we absolutely need to to uh, to do that. Where is Devi Cristo? There she is. In the name of uh, alcohol, she's saying a sad word is alcohol. Yes, it is a depressant. It is true. Uh, and uh, let's have a chat with her. The esoteric woman you've known for a while now. I did. I have not known her at all. She barely, barely talks to us. To us. Uh, is standing there slouching and looking in the direction of the hapless moonshiners while mumbling a sad song. Varna Banana is a sad fruit, she says. Nobody is her follower or friend, except for these guys. Uh, she wanted to save the world, she says, to bring some joy to the kids the kids. But all people want is to drink and drink. As she notices you, the woman flinches and quickly regains her usual energy. Oh, hello, child. Tell me, did my words about the harm of alcohol read you of alcohol slavery? I can notice her face and complexion and say that she is still a slave herself. Let's go with that. She flinches. Suddenly, she's no longer a tired, life-worn woman that she seemed a moment ago, but a, a furious viper. Yes, she says, my blood is often confused with wine due to the words of my previous incarnation. Oh, right. What? But Varna Banana would never dilute it with ungodly spirits, she says. I... I, uh, mm, okay, question. Your blood is confused with wine? Okay. Your previous incarnation, where? I, mm, that as well, yeah. Uh, and also, what is this line? Go on, blow. If I'm wrong, I'll apologize. Oh, right. Right, right. I think I'm trying to apply a, uh, Alcohol, a blood alcohol level test uh, to her somehow. I, mm, I'll say that and just. How dare you, she 
doesn't ask because that's with an exclamation mark. Well, maybe I took a bit of a of the pathetic Moonshiners' deathly poison. It's well, deathly is a word, but only to show to my students the horrible effect alcohol has on one's soul with a capital S. A ham. And she uh, shamefully lowers her eyes and moves away from you just in case. Just in case of what? I take my disrespectful ba words back. Uh, all right, let's drop the subject. I don't want to... Mm. Why am I casting pearls before swine? And another reference to biblical texts. I don't know that one in particular. Um, and if it's the one I'm thinking of, it's uh, also a... a a really, really surreal passage where p pigs just throw themselves off a cliff. I'm not really sure. It's... Anyway. I'm, w I'm afraid my words are falling on deaf ears, she says. It's clear that the Moonshiners couldn't care less about my wisdom either, and it was at their disgusting alcohol that I directed my sacred anger. And, uh, she sighs sadly. Uh, nobody gives a damn about your quote-unquote wisdom. No, quote-unquote sacred anger. I'll go with that. The cult leader turns red, then pale, then she angrily stomps her foot. You silly pathetic! With exclamation mark dot dot. Ridiculous child! I'm not going to tolerate your petty, mean mockery. Who do you think... I... you... no, who do you think you are? I... Uh, yeah, I suppose, yes, she's upset. It seems as if uh, steam is about to come out of the ears of Devi Christu. Stupid brute, she shouts, just like everyone out there. Ooh. Lovely. I love it. This is just unbearable. <laughs> That's it, she says. We're done in this depro deplorable place. And in fact, wasteland dwellers are not ready for my cosmic wisdom, which was divine just a moment ago. No, wait a minute. That was the rage. Our tour is over and we're going back to Krasnos Nameni. And the cult leader puts on airs. Now for the first time. Um, turns her back to you and starts walking away. Her grim congregation is following her. No, yeah, that is the last line. She says, yeah, so the tour is over. Then I can return to the mushroomer, I'm gonna say, doing air quotes. To myself, as like a... The, yeah, I don't know. Like, or to the camera. I should turn to the ca That's what I should do. I should turn to the camera. My character should look up here. And, and only his face would turn, not the rest of the body, because that would be too normal. I want this to be surreal. Like, and I should return to the mushroomer with air quotes. Um, so, we're here. Uh, and I think that's that, actually, because uh, I don't think we have anything. We have Paragon. Yeah, that's the name of the thing that I want to go to. But where is Paragon? Where would Paragon be? Let's have a chat with this guy. He is... Uh, do I remember him? A man around 30 years old is standing in front of you. He's peeling potatoes. Uh, I think I remember him. Oh, hello. Go on, then. Maybe you'll kill my boredom. Yeah, I think I remember him. I remember the potato man. Potato man. I don't remember these guys, though. I think they're, they're new. Factory guys rule, he shouts. Come on in, bro. Always a pleasure to have you here. Oh, they're friendly, these ones are. It's the friendly kind of bandits. Because there's two very different kinds. Also, they're very, very conflicted. Which is good. Good. Really good. I like it. Uh, the, the Bennets. Puts me on edge. Not edge, but there's something going on in here. Puts me at, at guard. Why is this guy... Who's this guy? Did he have... I think he did have the, the little the thing. Let's have a chat with him. I don't know who that is. An old man with an eye patch. Uh, look who's here. The main thug of the neighborhood. To what do we owe the honor? Uh, well, I uh, uh no, nothing. I don't. You can't do that anything. Uh, let's just uh, take a look at your merchandise and sell some things. So, do I want to keep the zip gun? I think my. Mm, you know what? You know what? This is so good because of how fast it is. However, I might be able to upgrade that. Let's see. So I'm doing automatic experiments. Uh, so what 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 would I need to make this better? Wires. I would need uh, tape, tape for sure. I would need a lantern battery. Didn't didn't do nothing. Uh, how about a can? Don't also did it's bad. Uh, hmm. Nails? No soap. Soap not. Uh, pellet books. 
I don't think I'm going to be able to craft anything here. Condensed milk. Oh, that's right. I didn't look at that. Eh. Wolf antidote. What? Wait, what? The quality antidote with many... A quality uh, antidote with many ingredients. Helpful to those who got poisoned in the wasteland. Yeah, I don't think I can do anything with, uh, with that. Maybe an empty bottle. No. Nails. That's what I was looking for. Doesn't work. So, my idea is to sell the, um, the rifle. Where's the dude? There you are. Maybe I need to talk to that guy. Hey, I need to talk to you. Okay, he's got moonshine. I have a rifle. You keep the rifle. Is that... That might be a little bit too expensive. Isn't it? Maybe not. Not tremendously so. Okay, let's put three in there. Let's, uh, flight helmet for stealth. Yeah, probably never gonna use that. Um, and toadstools? Sure. All of them? Nah. May man, maybe two. I don't think I'm gonna need any of them, but... Uh, what's that for? For tinkering, that's right. I have... Let's can sell one. 66. That's good money. Anything else? Hmm. He doesn't have bullets, which is a shame, because I really need the 9mm. Got some beetroot. Uh, I can sell a couple. Sounds good to me. And there you go. Thank you very much. Hey, who's this? A swift, bald man is standing in front of you. He's keeping an eye on the moonshine still and looks at you now and again with a wry smile. Ah, a familiar face. Did you decide to check on the moonshiners? I... How's work going here? I don't know. I, do I know him? Maybe. Not bad. The men are working hard, and the boys and I are looking after the garden patches. Life is peachy, for us at least. <laughs> Does this outpost often get attacked? It hasn't been attacked once, but as soon as something gets into the locals, expect trouble. You know it yourself that when there's public unrest, alcohol merchants are the first to be looted. Do I? I Well, I suppose maybe? I don't... I have, me personally, Colonel RPG, I have very, very little experience with, fortunately for me, mind you, uh, with the public unrest, but maybe that's the case. I wouldn't do that if I were in a situation where there were public unrest. I wouldn't loot the alcohol merchants, but still, who am I to say? Maybe other people would. However, he says, we are prepared for such turn of events. Uh, such a turn of event. Um, of events. So, uh, uh, how are you doing? Better than I did at the factory, that's for sure. Who was I there? A common go 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 gopher? Yes, and now I'm almost the boss. I supervise Petrovich, receive reports and give orders. Sweet, indeed, very very sweet. Um, and that's that. I'll see you later, I suppose. Thank you for uh, for telling me about the things. There's a Burke over there. Okay, let's get out of here because we need to find Paragon. Absolutely need to find Paragon. Let's have a chat with this guy. Maybe. Oh yeah, now that you're under the protection of the factory, uh, of the factory man, how do you feel? Cool. Now our lives will be just great. I already feel much calmer. I don't know if he's being sarcastic though. Money is nothing, he says. Probably being sarcastic. Private property is dust. No, private property is now. You're under. What? If you're dead, you you don't need all those riches. That's my take on it. What? Okay, but I, I assume he's being sarcastic. But but you, you got... Dude, you just got privatized. <laughs> you just got your ass privatized. You don't even know about it. It's like, oh, it's money. And he thinks, nope, nope, you just... No, you just... Yeah. I mean, I suppose that it depends. It depends. It, yeah, it, well, that's why state... Uh, state nationalization? Whatever. The What's the word? National, let's go over there. Um, yeah, that's it's it's tricky to, to if the if the bandits at the factory are a, a government, then I guess you wouldn't say privatized, would it? But the distinction is pretty tenuous. Um, they were effectively a cooperative before, so you know, at least as far as I can tell. And there's friendly junk being sold over here by a caravan group, caravaneer, caravaneer group. Where are they? On the other side of the river. Oh, it's this map. The map where I die, to or died. Uh, bread and garlic and bacon, all in one. Uh, 
Let's see, you have... That, that guy wants... A camel bandana for extra stealth. Don't I have, like, a thing that's even better than that? A flight helmet for even extra st stealth. Yeah. Uh, unfortunately, no ammo. Super glue, though. Mm. Yeah, thank you, though. I'll be on my way. Wait, let me just ask. Who are you? The garbage collectors. That's right. <laughs> I forgot about it. Hi, the garbage collectors. I don't know if, what. Um, I don't know if that's the correct translation. Because if it is, it's a very like a. It's just the name of their group, right? It's like, oh, we're the garbage collectors. We're the Rain Men or something. Uh, this might be a paragon. A paragon. Uh, let's look. It is Maiden Spring Farm. I think I've heard of it before. We got butterflies over there. We got friendly people over there. And butterflies that... No, they don't run away. Okay, I thought... Oh, well, they wouldn't. They're, they're flying. But still. They don't fly away. That's what I mean. Oh, look at the reflections. Are these proper reflections? They are proper reflections. I think. I think so. Yeah. Because, like, are they seeing the underside of the tree? Or is it sp uh, screen space reflection? I think they're... I think they are screen space reflections. Anyway, we're good. We are... Basically... Ready to go inside, because there's nothing out here. Uh, did I go all the way around? Please tell me I didn't go all the way around. I did not! Come on, Lennon! Let's go. Let's look at our food. Oh, that guy is just talking to me. A tall, lean lad, about 17 years old, stands at the gate of the farm hidden behind the fence. And again, age. He lifts his rifle in an uncertain gesture, hitting himself on the cheek with his huge wooden butt stock. Stay where you are, man, or I'll shoot, he says. I'm going to measure the lad with my eye uh, in silence. Also because i that's not m not staying where I am, so I suppose... I mean, he didn't really say anything. The guy looks around in fear and lifts his rifle slightly, even more, because he already hit his face. It's hard to understand what he aims at, of course. The heavy barrel is dancing in his trembling hands, pointing to your chest, then your head, then under your feet. Why? Okay. What's that? Why are you so si Why are you silent? He says. Give me a single reason not to shoot at you. Uh, speechcraft is the reason. I am a simple traveler and wish you no evil. The tone of your voice seems to be having a soothing effect. The lad lowers his rifle, still uncertain, almost letting it out of his hands as he does so. That seems very certain to me. He's like, oh, damn! It just smashes the, the rifle on the floor. I'm not shooting you so hard right now. Oh, look at how how hard I'm not shooting you. It's hard. He says it's hard to believe it, man. But I can see you're not lying. Yes, I did pass a, a speech check. If you want to have a rest or have some goods to trade, you can come in. Father will see you, and not my father. Father, thank you for the trust. But if you don't mind, I'd like to chat with you though. It's like a thing that I do. The guy looks at you dubiously. What else? He asks. Mm hmm What else do you want to know? I don't... Oh, right. This is the line that appears when we get out of each line. Who are you? The lad leans on his rifle as if it was a walking stick. Any shooter with an ounce of respect for his trade would have a heart attack at seeing this. I... Also, heart problems. Any shooter with heart problems, maybe. My name's August, he says. I'm Dad's hair. And uh, actually, he... That's capitalized D, so... It, I assume father there is he's literally his father and not capitalized. And neither is that D uh, over there. Because I'm his only son. Uh, I see. Uh, can you tell me about your father? You'd better talk to him yourself, he says. I don't want to discuss him behind his back. It's not nice and it's wrong. I see. Okay. Well, it must be, must make history lessons very difficult. What are you, especially because dead people and all that, what are you, what are you busy with? Uh, don't you see what I'm doing? He says, I'm guarding this gate. We're strict about it now. Even a crow wouldn't fly by. Got it? Why all these... What, what do you mean now? You see fear showing on the last face. He presses his rifle closer again, looking at it as if he's ready to use it uh, at any moment. But he calms down. He looks at you with sad, wet eyes. Don't ask, man. Don't ask. Better talk to father. Yes, better talk to him about everything. He's the head of our family. Well, 
G he, so far it's only you you and him so he's only son well maybe he has sisters and of course maybe his mother and maybe he has grandparents around here somehow uh, maybe I don't know uh, like, yeah uh, so um what can you tell me about this place this is our family plot he says father built it with his own hands on top of someone's country country con country country house I believe I'm, I have t trouble pronouncing that word for some reason. We all grew up here. My sisters, he does have a sister. My sister and I, now I guard it. Father reinforces and fixes it. And mum and Beetruta are responsible for food. Uh, is that your nickname for your grandmother? Maybe, may you live in peace, um, I suppose. Ominous. Have you heard anything interesting lately? Because obviously what all that wasn't very passive-aggressive of my character to say something like that. Many creeks here, he says, as father says, are as foul as they can get. But ours, ours is very clean. Water springs out from the ground not far from here. It streams right past our fortress, as you can see. Try the water, man. You won't taste any better. Uh, sure. Okay. I, I can't. I'm sorry. The game doesn't allow me to do that. I would like to, though, because I'm pretty injured. I've, I've taken a few rat bites, and uh, drinking water heals that, I hear. Oh, they have a cow. Hi. Hello. Um, a tall, heavily built, heavy-featured, middle-aged... That's many descriptives. Woman stands in front of you. Her weather... Sh I'll get to you in a little bit. Her weather-beaten face, coarse skin on her hands. You wouldn't say... Skin or off her hands, I suppose. Uh, even her unusually wide steps imply years of emaciating home housework. No, they imply they imply not emaciating. Emaciated means just like somebody that was soft. That's where the word comes from. Hard work is what like she has weather beaten. It's like it's the opposite of emaciating. Anyway, uh, fatigue in her eyes prove your observation is wrong, because. The emaciating, anyway. As she notices you, she tenses up and then smiles. I'm sorry, she says, but I don't talk to strangers. If you have some business to talk about, go talk to my hubby. He must be somewhere in the yard. Okay, thank you. Now, you beautiful cow, why are you different than the others? This one is different. Oh, it's a, it's a tiny little baby cow, I think. Look at how small it is. It has horns? Yes, he does. I'm pretty sure baby cows don't have horns. Like that, anyway. I'm pretty certain they don't. I, I don't... I, I, yeah, I think they only grow horns, like, uh, at the age of one year. And then, you know, they're already pretty big at the age of four months. They, well, they're not as big, probably as big as that at the age of four months. I don't know, but not, I don't know. It's just a small cow. Maybe it's one, it's a, it's a special kind of cow. You know, because there's, like, special kind of horses and uh, dogs and all that. I'll take all the fruits of your labor. Because I am the main character. Hi, are you the... No, you're not the lady that I talked to. I suppose he is the... Um, father with capital F. You see a sturdy, broad-shouldered man in his 40s. He's wearing a long, hard, embroidered... Hand-embroidered shirt and homespun trousers girt with a rope. Sure. His face hasn't seen a razor for quite a while. It looks, which is a good thing, because that's a beautiful beard. It looks sullen, unfriendly, hardened by long days of work. In other words, emaciated. <laughs> However, everyday chores are not the only thing that has left a trace on his face. You see, his eyes are full of some inexplicable sadness. My character's very insightful. Nothing but a true grief, a true grief, could have caused this. The man notices you're star staring at him and snorts, annoyed, as you, you would. I don't know what stories my offspring has told you, or what you have told him to make him let you in out of ignorance, but we don't like travelers here. We're not a guest house, so spit it out, and let's say goodbye to each other. Oh, why are you so angry? I've run across your farm and thought, you know, why not just pop in and say uh, hi? The farmer stares at you for several long seconds, then casts a quick glance towards the shed, where a rusty scythe is waiting in the wings, resting upon the unpolished door. He does a quick calculation in his mind, and only after speaks again. I... Again. Does he? How do I know this? 
Life is hard on these... On those who aren't careful enough with strangers, but it's not too kind to those who kick, who kick them out either. If you've come to talk, all right, let's talk. Although I'm not exactly good company, on account of not liking a stranger. There's no place for deep thoughts when our, apart from the calculations that I was just doing, when our mind is mostly occupied with questions like how I will feed my family or what materials I should use to mend the pigsty roof before the winter. Uh, well, there's not much fun in this place. Right away, I could, I will say that, but my god. That, like, oh, I just want to be friendly. Your place sucks. <laughs> I can see you're a big, fa a big, big and happy family. Why are you so sad then? Wait. What? Uh, why are you sad? That's what I'm asking. I don't understand the rest of the sentence. For some reason, your remark hurts the farmer. Well, I... Not for some reason. It's pretty blatant. Why? He answers through greeted teeth, ne never letting his pierced gaze off you. What do you suggest I do? Pull a stunt? I love it. I know what you mean. I do a backflip would be a better word. And would, yeah, that would be funny. Pull a stunt is just funny for the wrong reasons. Because it's just... What do you mean pull a stunt? Like what? Buying the wrong... By, by like an underdog stock trade market thing or whatever. Oh, that was quite a stunt you did there, sir. Now you are rich because you bought the underdog or whatever. You know, bought low and sold, sold high. Uh, we're trying to run a farm here, he says, in case you haven't noticed. And it's not as if there are plenty of workers. One pair of man's hands for the entire household. My offspring be damned, he would say. The farmer looks askance. Uh, at the lad, oh, hmm, he hates his son, hunched up at the gate, who, neglecting every Warcraft rule, Warcraft rule, more heart attacks, leans on the rifle as if it were a crutch, or uses the barrel to draw some patterns in the dirt. I'm, in the dirt. I'm pretty sure that there's no such thing as Warcraft rule. I'm pretty sure you can use a rifle to stand on. It's a thing, you, you probably can do that. Like... Sure, if you're, you know, if you, you're a weapon collector and, or, it's just, you know, you're, you're, you, you shoot with, with your own weapons and things, you know, yeah, take care of them, you know, have, have care for, for, for your stuff. If you're, and, and in this case, sure, that also makes sense, because he probably wouldn't have many rifles, but not, it's, it's got nothing to do with war. It's got, yeah, if you're a military, I, I don't know, I've never been in the military, but I'm, I'm just guessing here, so let me know if you have, and if you know about this particular quote-unquote rule it's literally quote-unquote there um well don't get on um, let's see that's clear it's not easy for anyone these days but maybe something's happened the fact you're concerned about his problem doesn't seem to e emulate him what what Burn him? Emulation? Is that burning people? I don't. Quite the contrary. It annoys him slightly. I would be pretty annoyed if I I got burned. I don't get it. He says, why do you care? Whatever happened is my responsibility. My and my family's. Have I asked you for help? Then don't pester me with your questions. Listen. I, I can help. The farmer looks at you with ill-disguised contempt. You help me? That's a laugh. Well, see, I pulled a stunt. Solitude and isolation can become a problem for some people. Some people. You, for example, have lost the ability to believe in humankind. I will philosophize at him. The man sighs bitterly because I philosophized at him. Isolation makes you naive, not distrustful. My issues with the world stem from being exposed to it for a long time, not from being ignorant. Uh, well... I'm here to tell you that you're wrong. Am I? And where am I wrong exactly? I'd had my share of these motivational speeches even before the war started. Yeah, I'd expect it to be even before the war, because after, I imagine nobody was going to tell you that. Um... Well, I don't know where this is going. <laughs> um... Let's go with this one. It's a dog-eat-dog dog world, but it doesn't mean you can't build a mutually beneficial relationship. Of course it doesn't, and I'm all for them, if we're talking about people I know and trust, but I'm sorry, you're not one of them yet. Look, I can help you. Good God, we're mixing apples and origins here. No, we're not. That is when you are 
No, you're not. No, that's not that. Oh, you mix apples and oranges when you're comparing things that can't be compared, or you're making comparisons between things that can't be compared, you, which is the same thing, just worded differently. You might be right in your own fashion, but what you are getting at... But what are you getting at, he asks. You can't help me. I'm not hiring and I don't have any other problems. Now get out of here. This conversation has reached a deadlock. Man, anyone can see you're suffering. Get it off your chest. Come on. Ah, okay, our daughter, Masha, died. My god. Really? Really? Like, it's not, oh, okay, like, I, I had this puppy when I was a kid. No, he uh, he lost his daughter. And, he, yeah, that's like, it's not, it's not some big introspection thing. No, no, he just, he has real problems. And all that philosophizing and principle. No, he lost his daughter. He lost his daughter. She was killed. No, she was killed. That's even worse. Get it? They just killed her. And he knows who they were. Those thugs. Yes. Don't ask me who they were. But you know who they were. I don't know. Okay, maybe he doesn't. Who or why they were just beasts. So we haven't been in the best of moods recently. I am so sorry. Tense and motionless, the man's face could compete with a statue for uh, the 24 hours of Lamar. He uh, looks at you annoyed, gloomy, slightly resentful, and doesn't seem the least bit, bit enthusiastic about the idea. Obviously, he's, quote, mellowed, under, uh, unquote, I don't know why it's... Anyway, enough to listen to your questions, but nothing more. Are you okay there? Not feeling sad? That's... That was... I shouldn't do that. Yeah, that was a stupid question. Yeah. Can I... Can I, uh... Can I not go to the other questions? Oh, it goes, goes around. Good. Can I ask you some questions? I can! But I will ask them next episode. Because for right now... There it is. For right now, we're out of time. So for right now, I'm Colonel RPG, and this has been Atom RPG. I really hope you've enjoyed it. And if you did, go ahead and leave a comment. Like the video if you want to see the next episode come out sooner rather than later. But above all, thank you so much for watching, and I hope I'll see you next episode. Bye-bye.